Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Hi, Blanquita. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Blanca. How are you today? Uh, Hi, teacher. Fine. Excellent. Fine. Very good, Blanca. Nice. Very good. Hi, Dinora. How are you? Fine, you? Excellent. I'm great. I'm great, actually. Thank you. Very good. Hi, Gonzalo. Hi, Gonzalo. No. All right. William, hi. Hi, teacher. Oh, very good. Thank you, William. How are you today, William? I fine, thanks, and you? Excellent. I am great. Thank you. Very good. Carlos Antonio. Hi, Carlos Antonio. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Excellent. How was your day? Was a good day or a busy day? Mm, busy day. A busy day. All right. But you're happy to be in English class, right? Only. <laughs> very Always. good. Always. Always. Very good. Thank you. Hi, my friend Galileo. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am just great, Galileo. Thank you. Me too. Excellent. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Very good. Saben yeah. que hoy pasé por su oficina otra vez, Galileo, Andy, Nora. Really? Y le dije adiós. Me <risa> <risa> hubiera pasado saludando. Ay, no, yo sé, pero es que sabe que venía con dolor en el brazo porque me pusieron mi segunda dos. Uh, Entonces, okay. como que, mm, all right. No había tiempo para eso. ¿De cuál vacuna, Ticho? Ah, no, hemos recibido con pancito dulce y café. Ah, con pan. Ah. Es o que pizza. Es de... No se preocupe, después, we're going to talk about that soon. Right? <laughs> Luis Manuel, what was your question? ¿Cuál vacuna le pusieron, Ticho? Se supone que la. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Chinese one. Y no ha sentido nada de efecto secundario. Solo se me hincha el brazo, Luis Manuel. Really? Uh -huh. En la primera y en esta. Vaya, por fin conocí a alguien que ya le pusieron la segunda dosis de esa. <ríe> y no sé si es bueno o malo. <ríe> ¿Eso se ha cumplido o no? No sé, no sé, no quiero saber. <ríe> Teacher. Ya yes, Luis Manuel, no lo veo, Luis Manuel, ¿dónde está? Encienda su cámara, Luis Manuel, no sé así. Excelente. Ajá. <ríe> Pero de aquí a uno le comienzan a gustar las pupusas de murciélago o algo así. <risa> Luis Manuel. <risa> I don't know. Oh, my goodness. No sé. All right. Very good. Pero ahí vamos. Así que no voy a mover mucho el bracito izquierdo porque todavía me duele un poquito. All right. Very good. Edwin Balmore, ¿qué le pasó ayer, Edwin? No te dejo ayer. Hello, teacher. Ay, Edwin. Me dominó el sueño ayer. No, qué barbaridad, Edwin. En los últimos días no le puede dominar el sueño. Ya casi terminamos. Right. No entiendo, compañero. Dinora. You're not a good influence, Dinora. Very good. All right. And we have José Eduardo. Hi, José Eduardo. Hello, teacher. ¿Por qué tan serio, José Eduardo? ¿Qué le pasó ahora? No, aquí arreglando la compra. <risas> ah, ok. All right. Very good. Y tenemos, obviamente, a Luis Alfonso. Hi, Luis Alfonso. I can't hear you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am fine, teacher. Thank Excellent. you. I'm happy to see you, Luis Alfonso. Hey, me too. Excellent. Thank Very you. good. <laughs> Very nice. Carlita Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Hello. Hi, compañía. Where is Ariadna today? She's sleeping? Uh, con la grandmother. <laughs> oh, with her grandmother. All right. Yes. With her grandmother. Very good. Okay. Olga. Hello, Olga. We have Eli. Hi, Eli. Very nice. I'm Hi, Carlos good Alfredo. Evening. Good evening, Olga. How are you? Hi, Jessica. Fine, fine. Hi, Eli. Very good. Good, Olguita. Very good. Okay, let's see. Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodriguez. Not in. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Ah, ahí está, Alex. Hi, Alex. Entrando. Ah. Excellent, Alex. All right, very good. Um, Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Where is Anita? Where's Judith? Okay. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejia. Present. Okay. 
Um, Carlos Alfredo Portillo. Present. Ok, thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Present. Thank you. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Oh, no, hoy Elmer. ¿Qué le pasó a Elmer? Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez. All right. Thank you, Eli. Yes, thank you. Gonzalo Valle Valle. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present, teacher. Jose Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present, teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Very good. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Present, teacher. No lo veo, Luis Alfonso. Pero aquí estoy, teacher. <laughs> All right, very good. Es que estoy cenando, sorry. Ah, oh, excuse me, provecho, sí. enjoy your meal. All right, Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Norma Lizer Quintana Mancía. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. Thank you. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz. No. Nope. And Ana Karin Solis Lopez. All right, guys, I hope everybody else joins us today. Remember that we have today, tomorrow, y pues nos toca reponer martes por lo, el problema que tuve yo de internet el lunes. All right, entonces nos quedan tres días. Please be in class, all right? Acuérdese que su asistencia es sumamente. Hi, Judith, thank you. All right, ya iba yo a escribir. Good evening. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. All right. Acuérdense que su asistencia es súper importante, especialmente si usted planea seguir en el programa. Acuérdense que tenemos que lograr un 80% de asistencia. Ok. Si usted se ha conectado todos los días, no se preocupe. All right. Si se ha, ha faltado un par de días, mm -hmm, I don't know. All right. Pero igual, usted siga. Tiene que llegar a lo más que pueda. Ok. Very good. Excellent, guys. Alex, lo extrañamos mucho ayer. Ya, yeah, teacher, no, ya. no estuve en casa, ni en la oficina, estuve trabajando fuera de acá por okay. un rancho y no me pude conectar con el teléfono. ¿En la playa? Oh. <ríe> no, trabajando. Okay. <ríe> sí, y andaba, un, te andaba un teléfono nuevo y, y, y tenía que bajar la aplicación, bajé la aplicación de Zoom, de regreso, no me pude conectar. Llegar, llegó a las nueve y cuarto y yo sin poder conectar. Pero okay. le mandé un mensaje por, en, en el WhatsApp del grupo. Yes. Yeah. Or... Me hizo imposible. Ok, very good. Y, y Luis no, Alfonso sí. nos dio el mensaje a las 10 y 10 de la noche. Ah, no. He's dormido. <laughs> He's eating right now. <laughs> All right, very good. That's okay. Uh, Elmer, I think, is joining. Okay, guys, very good. So remember, we have two more classes this week and then on Tuesday. All right. So we are talking about uh, yesterday. We. We began, well, not began, but we are talking about would like to, would you like to, all right, or I would like you to, all right. De todos estos días hemos estado hablando de la expresión modal would like to, all right. So, acordémonos que esa expresión nos va a ayudar mucho para cuando usted pida algo, and it's very, very nice, okay. So, I said, I would like to have a word with you, all right? I would like to talk to you. I would like to meet you, okay? So that's very good. Today, we're going to continue with another modal verb, okay? Después, cuando usted siga avanzando en sus cursos o en sus módulos, va a encontrar en el camino más verbos modales, okay? But right now, we're using would like to, que era el que hemos estado viendo, and today, we're going to study could. Okay, that is another modal verb. Because it's another modal verb, the rules are the same. The rules are no S for third person singular, all right? The negative is only not. Acuérdese que, acuérdese que ya les comenté que los verbos modales son bien aparte de los verbos de acción que conocemos. Entonces ellos tienen sus propias reglas, okay? So, no is for anybody, all right? So, let's see. I'm going to share my book with you guys. Let, let, give me just a second to find it here. 
Okay, let me see. All right. Give me a second, guys, here. Oh, we were talking about, ya me acordé también. Tenemos pendientes de terminar la lectura, ¿cierto? Yes, no, hello. Yes. <laughs> Where are you guys? Are you sleeping? Don't sleep. All right, okay. ¿Sabe qué? Entonces, antes de, de, de empezar con el could, vamos a terminar la lectura que estábamos viendo ayer, que la leyeron. All right, so we have here this, okay. Color, resolution, speed, and memory. Okay, and then we had these questions. Okay, let's see. Um, Galileo, can you please start reading where it says color? Cuando yo le diga stop, sigue la siguiente persona que yo mencione, así es que todos atentos. All right, Galileo, can you please start? It's a pleasure, teacher. Thank you. Color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Excellent. Luis Manuel, can you continue, please? <laughs> um, uh, Luis Manuel. It's resolution, teacher. No. Ay, Luis Manuel, ¿qué le pasó? Excuse me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Aquí, aquí, en la segunda línea, colors. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, color printers can also be set to print only in the black and white. Uh, color printers are more expensive to operate since they use to in, uh, I don't know how you say. Cartridges. Cartridges. Oh, excellent, yes. Uh, uh, one color and one black ink uh, that need to be replaced uh, after the certain after a certain number of paints. Thank you, Luis Manuel. Continue, William, please. Okay. User who doesn't have a specific need for color and who prints a lot of a page will print a black and white. Printer cheap, cheaper to oper operate. Excellent, very good. Thank you. All right, Blanca, can you read resolution? Igual hasta donde dice minute y Carlos, no, sabe que y Olga va a continuar donde dice color hasta la última. Ay, no, perdón, 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 perdón. Resolution, a ver, a ver, a ver. Uh oh, a ver, resolution, Blanca, hasta donde está el paréntesis. Y Olga. De donde dice most hasta el final. Resolution, printer, resolution, the hardness of text and images in paper, in usually measured in dots, per in the the DPI. 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 <laughs> Eh, Olga, continue. Thank you, Blanca. Can you continue, Olga? Most? Most inexpensive printers provide su sufficient resolution for most purposes at uh, 600? Uh -huh. DPI. DPI. Very good. All right. Edwin, a speed. Uh, you stop here, Edwin, and they say minute. And Ellie, you continue from color to faster, please. Okay, speed. If you do much printer printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Excellent, very good. Continue, Ellie. Color dijo. Yeah, the color hasta el final. Color, color printing. Mm, color printing is lower. Mm -hmm. More expensive printers are much faster. Excellent. Thank you, Eli. Alex, Humberto. Memory hasta donde dice from most to user. Hasta ahí, Alex. And then I want Dinora to read the rest of the paragraph. Hi, teacher. 
memory mouse printer come with is a small amount of memory for example one megabyte that can be expanded by the user okay thank you dinora continue <clears throat> having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them which the printer treats as a large image excellent thank you all right guys let's see we are going to read it together now all right voy a ir leyendo yo de donde dice color okay and i want you to say teacher stop cuando encontremos una palabra que no sabe el significado o que quiere revisar pronunciación okay color color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where is part of the information si usted no me dice stop yo continuo color printers can also be set to print only in black and white color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges one stop. color yes since since I the to operate ah, to operate since they use two ink what is, cartridges this mm -hmm. what, what is the word since, since this day teacher i'm sorry yes yes um luis repeat the uh, repeat the pronunciation to ink ink cartridges Car Cartridges. Uh, sorry, uh -huh. sorry, teacher. I I I I heard the pronunciation in cartwright. Cartwright. No, it's a cartridge. It's a cartridges. Cartridges in this case, Luis. Como que fuera cartuchos, algo así. De hecho, sí, 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 sí. All right, cartridges. Okay. All right. Very good one uh one color and one black ink all right I'll, uh, solo si me ayudan con el micrófono please se escucha una musiquita bien relaxing and no voy a hacer <laughs> very good the need to be replaced no es replaced is replaced after a certain number of pages a ver, si ustedes no me preguntan sobre pronunciación o vocabulario, cuando termine yo empiezo a preguntarles a ustedes, ¿ok? Stop teacher. Ajá, dígame. Stop teacher. <laughs> ¿Ok? You say a number of pages. Yes. I, I say page. No? Si fuese una, Luis, es page. Pero si fueran dos, tres, cuatro o cien, pages. ¿Ok? Because it's plural, Luis. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good. All right, very good. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Okay. What well, is cheaper? Oh, ah, teacher, what is very cheaper? Good. Thank you. Cheaper is más barato. Cheap ah. es barato y cheaper más barato. Es el comparativo. Very good. Resolution. Printer resolution. The sharpness of text and images on paper. Suki. Suki. Venga. Sí. Yes. What is sharpness? Ah, como la... Um, Sharp es como la imagen clara, la claridad, la, la, I don't know. Pixeles. Sí, pero sharp es cuando usted tiene algo como brillando. Um, ya lo vamos a buscar bien para decirle bien. <ríe> pero sharp es algo que se vea bien, que la, la resolución es nice, ¿ok? A ver, ok, let's continue here, ya se lo digo. Ok. ¿Ah? ¿Nitidez? No. Yeah. 
A ver, a ver, a ver. Ya, yeah, nitidez. Very good. Sharpness es como la nitidez. Okay. All right. Ok. Uh, thank you. It's usually measured. No me vayan a decir measured. It's measured. Con D. Measured. In dots. Per... Ah. Me, medida. Medida, exacto. Medida en dots per inch. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 dpi. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Ok, yo voy tomando nota del vocabulario. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Next one, memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Okay, wow, perfect, no questions. Okay, no sé si alegrarme que no hay preguntas. All right, very good. <laughs> okay. Aha, Ellie, tell me. Hi, where are you, Ellie? Tell me which paragraph in mem memory What's in the name? second paragraph having more than having memory. more. Than mm -hmm. Okay, it's como why, tener why? más, mm. tener okay. más del mínimo. Aha. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué es having? ¿Por qué está conjugado, conjugado having? Eh, lo que pasa que es como... Cuando, ajá, dígame. Porque having es un verbo estático. Sí, pero depende del sí, contexto. En este caso, usted, en este caso sí se puede usar having. Having more than the minimum amount of memory. Ahora, si usted dice... Yeah, yo sé que es un static verb, pero cuando usted dice I have a brother, no puede decir I'm having a brother, porque no es que en este momento iba a cambiar, sino, mm -hmm. pero en este caso sí, because it, it refers to the amount of the memory, all right? So in some cases, Ellie, having can be applied or can be used with ing as a gerund, because it's acting as a gerund, mm -hmm. all right? When is moment specific. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. All right. Mm. Very good. Okay. Thank you. you. All right. Okay. Let's see. Carlos Escobar. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Veo raro que no diga Antonio. All right. Very good. Carlos Antonio. Let's go back here. Shipper. No, espéreme. No, yo le voy a decir una. Ahí está marcado. <laughs> sí, pero eso me la preguntaron. A ver. Cuando decimos... Es que quiero una difícil, ¿sabes? No, mentira. All right. When we say, do you understand more expensive, Carlos? Yes. What is it? Give me, a, don't tell me in Spanish. I don't want to know in Spanish because I know Spanish. I want you to tell me that word more expensive or that adjective in a sentence, Carlos. Can you give me a sentence using more expensive? Is the cost is more. Okay. All right. The, 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 the normal. Okay. Oh, oh, from the normal. Yes. All right. Very more expensive is like a lot of money. Right. Okay. Galileo, can you can you explain to me the word certain? Siempre en color. Certain. That need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. I think is. Uh, uh, a word indefinite word. Uh huh. 
is I'm thinking in English. Oh, very <laughs> good, fun. yes, of course. Very like, good, yeah. yes. Uh, some pages. Uh huh. Uh, some number of pages uh -huh. need to be replaced. I mean, no, all pages uh, just some uh, certain ciertas uh, <laughs> algunas. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm sorry. Some. <laughs> Certain number is como some number of pages. Very good. Yeah, I understand that. Thank you. All right, let's see. Um, ah, William, sufficient in resolution, William. What is sufficient? Yes. Um, uh, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Pero... <laughs> you have to tell me. <laughs> es como una resolución ideal. But sufficient? Sí. Okay. All right. Like enough. All right. Sería otro sinónimo. Sería sufficient is enough. Como suficiente. Enough. All right. Enough. Okay. Very good. Um, Dinora, what about purposes? This one right here. It's like. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh -huh. Como decir in English. Pero... <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. Teacher. Yes. May I? Um, no, wait. <laughs> Give me a second. I I just see if I wanna I wanna see what happens with, with her. Uh-huh. Mm. Like... Yes. Ajá, aquí estoy, dígame. Que no, es, no tiene que ver con la resolución de lo que me dice a 600 DPI. Es como ¿Sí? una, como en alta resolución, no sé. La palabra purposes, what is purposes? Purpo ah, es que se me viene nomás solo como Spanish. propósito. Ajá, el en mi español es como propósito. <laughs> yeah, all right, very good. Yes, uh, you understand it, nice. Ah, ok. But in English, mm -hmm. English no sé cómo explicar. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. I, I know that you understand now, that's fine. Okay, all right. I guess you guys understand. Ah, pues sí. los, 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 you guys are saved. All right, says Alvaro, you know the vocabulary. Very good. Okay, let's continue here. Number Me one. Estrellita. I know, ya, ya la voy a ver. A ver, number one. Um, hmm. Beatriz, hi Beatriz. Bea, hi. hi, hi. What is question number one? Why is color important for some users? Um, I internet with you. Wait. Okay. Can you uh, bajar la, la, no yes. like this? Sorry. Because some users need uh -huh. to print pages for presentation or maps okay. and other pages. Uh -huh. All yeah. right, okay, very good, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so why is color important for some users? Because they need to bring presentations or maps, okay, very good. Well, or like color is part of the information, that's why it's important, very good, Anna. Uh, number two, let me see here. Luis Alfonso, what does DPI stand for? What is DPI? Doctor English. Excellent, very good, nice, thank you. Carlos Alfredo, why are color printers more expensive? Because you stuck as the cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carlos Alfredo, Carlos, Carlos. Sorry, I don't turn off the microphone. Okay. The color, mm, the the printer that used two colors. Okay. Uh, 
print in colors <laughs> or in blacking or use this in both colors. Okay, so it's it's uh, they are more expensive because they use what? Is right uh, here because uh huh. Uh, because they use two cat cartridge. Cartridges. Sorry. No, that's okay. Two <laughs> ink cartridges. Yes, they use two cartridges. ink cartridges. Very good. Thank you. Ellie, okay. number four. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? For someone who I... prints a lot? Mm -hmm. What is important, Ellie? I don't remember. Ah, what happened? Uh huh. Tell me someone else. That's okay, Ellie. The speed. Speed. Ah, the speed. All right. Yes, the speed is very important for someone that prints a lot. Very good. And number five, what is the amount of memory the most printers come with? Do you guys remember what is the memory? One megabyte. One <laughs> megabyte. Yes, very good. All right, guys. Thank you. Okay. We're going to continue here. Okay, it says fill out a complaint form. Listen to your teacher and read the conversation. We have Mike and Maria, all right? So it says, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint. Cuando usted dice file a complaint es que usted tiene una queja. All right, to file a complaint about my work terminal, the computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Let's see here. Um, Elmer, can you be Mike, please? And Ana, can you be Maria? Ana Solis. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, 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 Galileo. Just Teacher. one question. Uh huh. What's your question? Uh, no time means immediately. Yes, immediately, right away. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. All right, so sorry, guys, please. Yo soy Maria. Uh, yes, you are, Ana, yes. Okay. Okay. Con quién? Thank With Elmer. Thank you for. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and in, in, in I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was I was very very slow yesterday, this and it didn't did not. Turn on today. Let me send someone with a complete form. We can send a new computer on in on time. Okay. Thank you. All right. You are welcome. Excellent. Very good. You're welcome. Nice. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Um, Luis Manuel, you're going to be Mike and Carlita. You're going to be Maria. Please. Okay. Uh, thank you for calling the IT department. Carlita? Sorry, teacher. Okay. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. Uh, and I need to file a complaint Mm -hmm. About my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear with that. Please describe, describe uh, the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't, didn't, no sé it, did, it didn't, así, así está bien. Didn't? It didn't, yes. Turn on today. Mm. Let me send someone with a complaint form. Uh, we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint. Conte al final. 
a complaint about my work terminal, computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Es como lo lamento, lamento escuchar eso, all right, o I'm sorry. Please, esa es como una expresión que le puede dar mucho. I'm sorry to hear that. Alguien le dice estoy enfermo o estoy enferma, usted le dice I'm sorry to hear that. Someone tells you I have a problem and you say I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I don't know. Eh, whatever the situation is, you can say I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe. Is not describe, is please describe the problem. It was, no dice I was, is that it was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. No encendió. Turn on is encender. Turn off is apagar. All right. Turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form, un formulario de queja, donde usted se va a quejar, etc. All right. We can send a new computer in no time. Así preguntaba Galileo esa expresión de in no time, quiere decir in this moment. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Let's see. Number one, it says, what expressions does Mike use to show a solution in progress? What is the um, the answer for question number one, guys? What expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? What do you guys think? Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Excellent. All right. So the solution is in progress. No le dijeron wait until tomorrow. I don't know. We cannot help you. No, there is a solution in progress. Le dan una alternativa también. En, entonces es como que they're helping him right away. Well, number two, it says, what seems to be the problem with the computer? What is the problem with the computer, Carlos Antonio? What is the problem with the computer? The computer not too long. Too long. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. The computer, uh huh. Um, no too long. Sí, pero cómo decimos no? Uh, if the didn't turn on. Ah, okay. Aún mejor todavía, fíjese, le iba, lo, se lo iba a valer si me lo decía don't. All right, pero me lo dijo didn't, okay? Está bien. Ya es forma de un pasado. All right, pero es negativo. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's, I, I have a question. Yes, what's your question? Uh, why the expression say didn't mm -hmm. and at the end of the phrase say today? Ah, okay, because maybe, <laughs> that's a very good question, Galileo. Is that uh, is another rules? No, the thing is like it didn't turn on today. El día ya terminó. All right, se dice no encendió la máquina cuando hoy, hoy en el día, hoy en la mm -hmm. mañana. All right, pero no encendió. Okay, okay. so it didn't turn on. Mm -hmm. Or you can say it doesn't turn on right now. It's, it, it's not working. All right, it doesn't turn on. All right. Okay, thank you, Galileo. A ver, Carlos, te recuerda. Eh, eso lo tenemos, es Carlos y es todos, obviamente. Cuando decimos no, a menos que sea con el verbo to be, es not. De lo contrario, es un auxiliar con el not. Ya sea don't, doesn't, en este caso es didn't, ¿ok? All right, so we have to remember to say no in English, all right? We have to use an auxiliary plus not. Ok, así como William nos va a decir que no tiene ninguna pregunta, ¿verdad William? ¿Dónde está William? Quiero verlo. Ajá, William, ¿cómo decimos? No tengo preguntas. I don't have a question. Excelente, ya vea, no se le olvidó. I don't have a question. Very good, William. Thank you. Ok, so here we have, guys, number four. It says group work. Get in trios. Vamos a hacer grupos aquí. All right, write down two more reasons. So, aquí estamos hablando de la printer, ¿ok? Y dice, it doesn't turn on. And then here, you have to make, ¿se acuerda que ayer lo, eh, 
Creo que pusieron esto de acá, solo se los enseño. Oh my goodness, fue hasta arriba. Ok, de este, este diagrama que teníamos aquí o este cuadro, teníamos printer o fax machine y possible problems, ok. Entonces, similar a eso, ok, you are going to say, eh, you are going to, whoops, 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 here. You're going, here they already give you the printer. No lo vayan a cambiar. Piense en otros dos problemas about the printer. It doesn't turn on. Ya le dijeron una. It doesn't turn on. And here, let's talk about, I don't know, what can we talk about? Tell me one piece of equipment. No know. printer. Aha, printer is here, but another one para poner la... Laptops. Excuse me? Laptops. Okay, very good. So, entonces nadie lo va a cambiar. Aquí pone print. Ya tienen un problema acá que no, no enciende. ¿Qué más le puede pasar a la printer? Eh, acá ya dijimos laptop. No lo voy a cambiar. Printer y laptop. What happens to the laptop? Give me three reasons. All right. To file a complaint. Termina, esto. termina esto de aquí. All right. You finish this activity group work. And then... I want you to do this, ¿ok? The complaint form. ¿Cómo la van a llenar? Aquí dice name of complaint, ¿all right? Oh, compliance, sorry. Compla uh, complainant, ¿all right? Entonces aquí, ¿quién está eh, haciendo la, la queja? ¿All right? Pone el nombre. Por ejemplo, William Mauricio González. The date, escriba la completa solo para pr practicar la fecha en inglés, ¿all right? Home phone number, y ponemos un teléfono aquí, work phone number, ponga otro, summer, ponga otro. La idea es practicar números aquí. Si está esto, aprovechémoslo para practicar los números. A street address is your address, all right? Si usted vive, I don't know, usted ponga la dirección o del trabajo o su casa. City, you can say San Salvador, soy Apango, Santa Tecla, Santa Ana, doesn't matter. Email address, también practíquela. La idea es esto. Uh, if I'm working with William, yo le voy a decir, hi William, this is Jessica from IT Support. Y William me va a decir, I need to file a complaint. Esto me lo va a decir. No es que lo vayan a escribir ahorita, lo van a practicar de forma oral. I need to file a complaint. Y yo le voy a decir, I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Y nos vamos a ir a esto. Y le voy a decir, name of the complainant. And William va a decir, my name is William Mauricio González. I will ask him, yo sé que yo me puedo a la fecha, la idea es que lo practique el compañero. What is the date? Uh, today is May, uh -huh, Thursday, May 5th, right, or 6th, sorry. What is your home phone number? Y me dicta un número de teléfono. What is your work phone number? Y me dicta otro. What is the fax number? Y me dicta otro. All right, así practica William muchos números, ok? What is your street address? Y yeah, ya me dice una dirección. The city, all right? Acuérdese que los nombres propios jamás se traducen. No me van a decir San Michael City porque no es San Michael, se llama San Miguel. All right? So, San Miguel. All right? So, San Miguel here. Or San, 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 San Salvador, como usted quiera. Email address, puede dar la suya, su correo electrónico o cualquier otro. Acuérdese que arroba se dice. Da. Arroba, at, 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 very good, at, ajá, y el punto decimos, dot, dot, very good, all right, so en el caso que yo le diera mi correo electrónico sería jessica cerritos 5 gmail.com, ok, ahora yo le digo, describe the nature of the complaint, Rega es como que descríbame el problema, y usted ahí, en ese caso William me va a decir, ok, jessica, eh, the printer doesn't turn on y me da todos los otros problemas que pusieron aquí, ¿ok? Eh, eso. All right, you understand? Y el otro compañero lo va a describir aquí, lo va a escribir, perdón, lo va a escribir y luego obviamente ya la fecha no lo ponen porque ya la pusieron aquí y no lo podemos firmar porque estamos en, en online. All right? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so, who said so, so? <laughs> William, what happened, William? All right, okay. Uh, let's go, all right? We're going to work on that right now. So, well, I'm going to send you to the groups in this very moment. Let's yeah. go right now. Ellie, are you tired? 
Your mic is a pin on Ellie. All right, very good. Okay, so here we go. Ay, me pese el mal. I pushed the no instead of the yes. Oh no, Bea. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, uh, um, hold on, Bea. Bea, la voy a, la, le voy a dar, como digo, le voy a, la voy a invitar dos veces, pero es hasta el segundo grupo. Bye. Oye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Deme aquí un segundito. Okay. Y luego la voy a volver a sacar, vea, para que regrese con el compañero que estaba originalmente, oye. Ok. Entonces aquí le doy a entrar. Sí, entre. Y luego ya le voy a mandar otra para que la saque de ahí y se vaya ya con el compañero. Ok.
bad battery function. And one more, maybe one more could be, could be, uh, uh, slower software, podría ser, un software muy lento. Ah, o slower. Es, es lo mismo, new, new software. New, new software. Ajá. Uh, uh, sí, podría ser maybe because no podría ser de de functionally it slowly slower software so ah, está muy lento de está lento el software ah, de slower slowly. software Lower software, software. It's lower. Lower, ah, S-L-O-W-E-R, S-L-O-W-E-R, S-L-O, S-L-O. S-L-O. Galileo, spell it in English for Jose Eduardo, S-L-O-W-E-R. Okay. <laughs> Okay, teacher. S L O W E R. That's right. Lower. You got it. Pero me va a extrañar José Eduardo. Ya va a ver. Ya va a ver. ¿Cómo que cómo que la vamos a extrañar? Te vamos a seguir los 18 meses. Cabal. In eighteen. In eighteen. Dieciocho meses. We are. Saying, we Ajá. are saying, uh, Galileo, no eh, lo veo. We are, <laughs> I'm relaxed. <laughs> okay, that's okay. <laughs> In 18 months, Ajá. we are saying, uh, we are saying we can speak English very well right now. Ah, okay. I hope in 18 months. Ajá. Primero Dios. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo podría decir primero Dios? ¿Algún sinónimo en inglés o algo? Um, ¿O no existe esa expresión? They don't really use it very much, actually. I mean, we translate it as like first God, but they don't say it in English like that. They don't yeah. say it. Yeah. All right. I think it's very like Salvadorian. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So they say hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh -huh. uh, okay, Eduardo, Elmer, do you got it? Uh, we have three answers about printing bad function. Uh, it doesn't turn on, low toner level, paper stack. El and primero de la el pinter uh, number number one the, is pinter Galileo. Is the same you look at the screen. It's the same. It doesn't turn on. Es el mismo que está en la pantalla de ejemplo. Okay. It same. doesn't turn on. Low toner level. Paper stack. About laptop bad function mm -hmm. uh, we have three three different problems virus infected bad battery function and a slower software maybe okay. i can hear you teacher <laughs> i was talking to myself i'm sorry <laughs> I wanted to say that it makes sense that it's good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, este, Eduardo, si gustas, if you ah, want, okay. we can repeat it. Ah, but but um, Galileo, make sure that you have time to do the complaint ah. report, the file, to file ah, the complaint, yes. Yes, that's true. Okay. Uh, Please. 
uh, down the page, please, Eduardo. Now, the last page. Down, 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 down. Right there. Okay, complaint form. Name a complaint. Complaint, complaint name. Form. Name of complainant. Okay. Name of complainants. Jose Eduardo Guzman. <laughs> No, okay. ask, ask him his name, um, Galileo, so he practices. Okay, okay. Uh, I need to fill the complaint form, Eduardo. Please uh, give me some information. What is your name? Uh, uh, hi, Galileo. My name is Eduardo Guzman. Name of complainant. Complainant Eduardo Guzman. Okay. Uh, please give me uh, the date of uh, the fail your printer. Date. Please give me. Please give me the date. When Luis. Seven seven. Manuel at Gmail. Uh, how do you say punto? Dot. 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 Acuérdese que dot. dot es para punto de correo, ¿verdad? Porque para punto ortográfico decimos period. Y, okay. y para punto en matemática decimos point. <risa> ok. <risa> sí. Ok. Point.com. No, dot. 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 Ya lo, ya lo dot. Eh, confundí yo, I'm sorry. <risa> Excuse me. Es <risa> dot. Eh, <risa> dot. Uh, come. Yes. Okay. Give me the description, uh, complete information. Do you have the problem? Um, I have a problem with my laptop. Mm. Okay. It's done to on. Luis Manuel, it don't or it doesn't, Luis Manuel? Excuse me. It doesn't turn on. Yes, it doesn't. Excuse me. That's okay. Doesn't turn. It doesn't turn on. And it's frozen screen. Very good, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have other, other problems? Yes. And the keyboard. It uh, doesn't be work. Okay. That doesn't work okay. only, Luis Manuel. The cable doesn't work. Doesn't work. Uh -huh. Doesn't. Oh, okay. Doesn't oh, work. We have to the cable is not working. It's not working. Uh huh. Podría ser cualquiera uno okay. o el otro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The cable is is doesn't. No, the it cable doesn't. the cable doesn't. The cable doesn't work. Doesn't. Yes, uh -huh. Okay. Working. Okay. Y, 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 y si fuera, eh, o sea, las cosas serían siempre doesn't, ¿verdad? The doesn't sí. in. Y it the doesn't, pero, necesita, uh, pero necesitamos un verbo, Olga. It doesn't think. It doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't have to work. No, oh, don't, oh, acuérdese, don't. acuérdese que necesitamos el verbo, un verbo nada más. Entonces, si diríamos... Si no tiene tinta. Ok, it doesn't have. It doesn't have. Uh -huh. Ok. It doesn't sí. have ink. Excellent, Olga. Yes, very good. And it's uh, only, I think. Ok. And you finish. It's only, ok. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. 
Ok, solo déjeme revisar dos grupos más y regresamos, ok? Ok, thank, thank you, you, teacher. Thank you. Hi, Judith. Hi, Alex. Why are you so quiet? You fit. Hi. For here, We are doing the, 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 the cuadro. Ah, the chart, Judith, the chart. <laughs> what happened, Judith? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> One of our problems is I spill coffee on my laptop's cable. Okay. So that's going to be the, the, the complaint? Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> Remember that you need to do this, right? This exercise I have in the complaint form. Puede ser cualquiera de todos esos. Yeah, only, yeah, only one. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. In the complaint form, and uh, he say name of complaint. I need uh, here, yeah. here, here. I need write my my name, right? Yeah. You ask. Ah, uh, Judith. Mm. Judith, what is your name? Excuse me. What is your name? Porque ella me pregunta pidiéndole apoyo, verdad? Entonces le dice, what is your name? Y ella le dice, my name is Judith Portillo. Ah, uh, what is the date? O sea, la idea es que se vayan preguntando como para ir practicando, all right? Ah, ok. Ok. I'm so hungry. <laughs> An hamburger, hamburger, <laughs> or pizza, or pupusas. Pupusas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's better than cheaper. Ah, uh -huh, true, totally. Okay. ¿Cuál vamos a usar, Alex? Este, Ana, ah, no, Judith, podemos, me, puede eh, compartir la, la, la conversación donde vamos a tomar los, los nombres, este, la, 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 las preguntas. ¿Cómo? Es que, ¿se acuerdan que, ajá, la de arriba, un poquito más ajá. arriba? Ahí, esa, 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 esa. Exactamente esa. Un poquito más, Anita. Ajá. Entonces, en este caso, era así como que, thank you for calling IT Silent department. Ya, yeah, hello, my name is um, Alex ¿Sí? Humberto. All right, okay. yeah. Alex. <ríe> Ale, ha, ha, ha. Y le dice el... Um, I need to file a complaint y ya empiezan a llenar ambos la, el papeleo. So, thank you for calling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My name is Anna. How can I help you? Uh, 
Alex, you're frozen? <laughs> Alexito, are you frozen? Hello, my name is Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's okay, Alex. <laughs> I think sharing is uh, speak with you, no, no, with me. No, 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 she wasn't speaking to you, Alex. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Hello, Anna. My name is Alex. I need a file I complain about my work. Oh, my, uh, my, my printer or my computer. No sé cuál van a escoger. About my, my work termina. I, I, my printer, exactly. Okay, my, my okay. printer. Mm -hmm. okay. You describe the problem. Oh, excellent. Yes, <laughs> describe the problem. Y ahí es donde empieza ya a describirle a Alex lo que le pasó a su impresor. Yeah. Uh, my printer, it, it doesn't turn on. Mm -hmm. The paper is stuck in printer and the ink ran out. Oh, very good. The ring, the, the ink ran out. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Y luego you did, le, podría, le podría decir, um, let me some, I know, we can send a new printer or we can replace the printer in no time. All right. Así como darle una solución a Alex para que no esté enojadito. Con su queja, all right? Wait yeah. for me. <laughs> I'm going. Okay. <laughs> I'm going right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, no kidding, I'm going. Very good. Okay, guys. We're gonna, vamos a regresar ahorita y vamos a compartir algunas de las complaints, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hello. Finished? Finish the complaints? Hello. No. No, no finish. Oh no. Okay, that's okay. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. All right. Um Olga and Luis Manuel, you were working together, right? Yes, teacher. Oh, yeah. All right, very good. So we're gonna I'm gonna share this with you guys here. Oops, no, you know. It's this one. All right. So you have the complaint. All right. So Olga, what is the complaint about Lu uh, the Luis Manuel filed? Solo lea lo que escribió en esta parte de aquí. Uh, the Manuel uh, happy problem, the laptop. Ah. Doesn't turn, it doesn't turn, turn, turn on. Okay. And it frozen screen. Okay. It, and the cable doesn't work. Oh, okay, very good. All right, so that was the complaint, all right? That he filed the complaint. Excellent, very good, thank you guys, nice. Let me see, Luis Alfonso, what was the complaint of Ana? Solo esta parte, Luis Alfonso, all right? What is the complaint? Hey, teacher. Uh... Ana Solis, Ana Solis, Ana Solis, eh, ok, eh, I'll say I need to file complaint, uh -huh. eh, I, no, sería, need to file complaint, her print, verdad, uh -huh. her print, her, her print, her print, she, 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 she say, she uh -huh. say, I doesn't turn off, uh, it doesn't turn it off. Problem, it, it, it doesn't turn off because the problem is probably okay. the wall connection. Ah, all right. It does, it does, it does work slow. Okay, it works slow, okay. The plural imagine. Oh, okay. Uh, the paper sometimes stuck <laughs> okay it gets stuck and the, okay. uh, uh, and, the, uh, and the printer it make a lot of noise oh my goodness como la de antes <laughs> all right yes, sir. Okay. all right very good okay anita si gusta eh, su micrófono ani thank you la dirección que habíamos puesto. Ay, no sé si la, la interrumpí, Anita, I'm sorry. No sé si you're talking oh, to me. Hola. Es que, 
voy en camino, pero no se preocupe. Este, la dirección que pusimos era Col eh, Miramonte, Ajá. Nombre, nombre de Juan A. Hill, okay. eh, en, ¿sí ves? Sí, en, sí, en San Salvador. Ok, all right, ok, very good. Thank you, Ana. Okay. Bueno. Ok, very good. Let's see. Um, Carlos Escobar, who did you work with, Carlitos? Win, uh, Blanca. Blanquita oh, okay, very good. So what was Blanca's complaint? Me. Uh -huh. Carlos, tell us about Blanca's complaint. Okay, the equi 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 equipment is printer. Equipment is the printer, equipment, okay. Equipment yes. is printer. Okay. Uh, she say is, is doesn't turn off. Oh, okay. Yes. And in paper stuck. Stuck. In stuck in a slow printer. Oh, okay. All right. So that was the complaint. Very good. All right, guys. Excellent. I'm going to take attendance right now. Y seguimos o pasamos con el tema. All right. It says Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodriguez. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. A Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. All right. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present, teacher. More Flores Gómez. Present. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez. I am here. Thank you. All right. Um, Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present teacher. José Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. I'm here. Thank you. José Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Thank you. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Norma Lizer Quintana Mancía. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. Thank you. William Mauricio González García. I'm here, teacher. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz García. And Ana Solís López. Thank you, Annie. Very good. Okay, guys. So we're going to continue here. And this is what I have for you today. All right. We're using the new, uh, a new modal verb could. Okay. So I'm going to show you on the screen right now, this one from the book. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to talk about. I will be able to make polite requests. Okay. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? ¿Cómo vamos a requerir de forma educada algo we're going to use could okay could is another modal verb okay así como would like to era una expresión modal could es también un verbo modal okay voy a detener este eh, el libro ahorita lo voy a no voy a compartir eso voy a compartir la presentación para seguir con los modal verbs okay so here guys you have so you have could, all right, we're starting tonight, could, y mañana nos toca ver el otro, que sería can, all right, could and can. Ahorita nos vamos a, pre a preocupar for could, okay? Look at the, or listen to the pronunciation. The L is silent. I don't say could, I say could, all right, could, no L, all right? Let's see. All right, so we can use could for request. Así como decíamos en el manual, for polite request, okay? So could, this is the structure, guys. Could is for, usually, como estamos requiriendo algo, solicitamos algo, lo vamos a ocupar ahorita como pregunta, okay? So no dejen de aquí. Okay, so could plus subject plus verb, plus complement, plus question mark. Question, could, 
Estamos, vamos a requerir algo, vamos a solicitar algo, vamos a pedir algo, entonces es pregunta. ¿Ok? So, no hay otra estructura, quiere decir que el verbo no le pasa nada, because this is a modal verb, y ya dijimos que los modal verbs, nothing happens to the verb for nobody, for everybody is the same. ¿Ok? So, let's continue here, modal verb, que en este no lo vamos a ver ahorita, lo vamos a ver mañana. Y, oh no, oh ya. Yeah. Ok, entonces, es, esto es bien sencillo, nos vamos a regresar aquí. <ríe> Solo quiero ver una cosa. Ok, could. Como estamos solicitando algo, yo le puedo decir, cuando ustedes me dicen, teacher, puede repetir algo, puede repetir eso. Usted me dice, podría decirme, could you repeat the information, please? Could. You, exacto, podría, very good. Could you. Repeat the information. Y si gusta, le agrega el please al final. All right? Yo les digo, could you, you todos ustedes, como plural, could you, um, I don't know, could you repeat after me? Could you read? O le digo, Edwin, could you read the exercise? O le digo, Eli, could you spell the word? Or I say, Luis Alfonso, Could you turn on the microphone? Or I say, Galileo, could you turn off your microphone? All right, porque estoy solicitando algo, requiriendo algo. Si yo le digo, can you, está bien, pero es más educado, más nice decir could. Ok, es como más formal. Could you. Yo podría preguntarle a Alex por decirle algo. Alex, could Luis um, come to the meeting? All right. Entonces, es como que yo le pregunté a Alex. Alex, ¿podría Luis venir a la reunión? All right. Could Alex, tercera persona, perdón, could Luis, tercera persona singular, come, no change, to the office? All right. ¿Por qué no hay cambio aquí a pesar que estoy hablando de Luis? Por esto. Because I use a modal verb. So no change needed. ¿Ok? Sí podemos hacer oraciones afirmativas. Sí podemos hacer oraciones negativas usando could. Pero entonces ya no se vuelve un, una solicitud. Ya no se vuelve algo que usted está requiriendo. ¿Ok? Es como una... Usted pide algo, entonces por eso ahorita solo nos vamos a enfocar en question. Could you? Could she? Could they? Could the teacher? Could your boss? No importa quién sea el subject. Going to use could plus subject plus verb. No change plus complement. ¿Ok? Yes? All right. Do you have... Okay, oops, 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 oops. Ay, no sé qué hice. Could... Do you have any questions about could? ¿Qué quiere decir podría? Así como en el otro decíamos, I would like to, me gustaría, en este, en este decía, decimos, ¿podría venir a la oficina? ¿Podría repetir eso? ¿Podría él um, ir a la farmacia? Could he go to the drugstore? Could you listen to me? Could you come to my office? Could you speak English only? All right, I'm requesting an information. I'm requesting something. Ok, so we use could. Could plus subject plus verb plus complement because it's a question. Ok, do you have any questions? Mm, Jessica, y ¿Sí? could se utiliza oh, bastante es porque nosotros en español mm -hmm. el verbo existe, podría, pero casi no se utiliza. Siempre se, se habla en presente para una, una pregunta, como uh -huh. por ejemplo, ¿puede ayudarme? Sí. O, uh -huh. ¿Puede hacer eso? Uh -huh. Y en inglés se utiliza bastante sí. podrido. Ya, yeah. es que es más es formal lo... y es como más educado. Uh -huh. All right, uh -huh. porque estamos requiriendo algo. Uh -huh. So, yeah, in English we use it a lot, Kelly. Uh -huh. All right, more than can. Especialmente también depende con quién habla Eli, all right? porque si usted está hablando con, no sé, um, alguien así como bien formal, it's a very good idea to use could. Could you help me? O alguien, o alguien bien formal o alguien con, con quien usted no tenga como mucha confianza. 
usted está hablando mm. conmigo y me dice, teacher, y nos conocemos, él y usted me dice, oye, sí, que está perfecto, no es que me esté faltando el respeto ni nada, pero Kurt es mucho más educado, mucho más polite y mucho mm. más formal, all right? Y sí se usa mucho, <laughs> all right, Kurt. Mm. Okay. okay. Yes, Thank very you. good, Ellie. Thank you. All right. Do you have any other questions, guys? Uh, the pronunciation is called, called? Could. Could. Mm. Así como could. imagínese lo K-U-D. Ah, could. 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 Very good, yes. Es que la L es como muda. Muda. De hecho, es muda. Igual que es would, muda, Carlita. ¿verdad? En el otro que estábamos viendo ayer y estos días, would you, um, would you like to? I Igual la L es muda. Ah, ok. All right, Thank very you. good, excellent. Galileo, do you have any questions, my friend? No, teacher. Everything yeah. clear? Everything clear. Excellent, all right. Entonces, no questions, I have questions for you. So, now we're going to do this exercise, ok? Todavía están a tiempo de preguntar. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the could is similar to uh, might. Might or may? Yeah, might. De poder también, de, de podría. Sí, pero ya esa um, es como podría de no que está requiriendo algo. All right. En oh. este caso es could. All right. Usted es el podría de posibilidad. Entonces usted dice I might go. All right. Pero en este caso es cuando yo requiero ayuda de usted o requiero algo que necesito pedirle a usted, entonces es could. Could you do this for me? Could okay. you help me? Mm -hmm. Very good, Alex. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Excellent. Okay. So here we have this, guys. We have could. All right. It says, could you for request. Es lo mismo que está en el manual acá. Siempre solicitando o pidiendo algo. Number one or letter A says, I'm going to the supermarket. Es cuando yo le digo, okay, I'm going to the supermarket. Y usted me dice, ah, teacher o oh, Jesse, could you please buy some milk? Podría que yo le diga que sí. Puede que le diga que no. All right. So in this case, we have sure, no problem. That's how you, that's how you answer the question. All right. So if it's affirmative, in this case, it's affirmative, you say yes. Okay, or you say sure, no problem. Sabe que voy a permítame aquí. Me voy a presentar la otra parte que está aquí. Solo me voy a saltar el can porque mañana lo vemos. Uh, here. Okay, ¿cómo podemos responder? Esto les va a ayudar en el ejercicio que tenemos ahí. Yo le digo Yes, I, I go, but give me the money. Man. <laughs> yes, I could, but give me the money, right, Alex? Entonces yo le digo Edwin, could you, I don't know, could you buy some milk? Y usted me puede decir, yeah, sure. Puede contestarme con yes, of course. All right. Puede contestarme con, I'm sorry, I can't. All right. Or I'm sorry, I don't have money right now. También me puede contestar como, mire, ahorita no tengo dinero. All right. No puedo. Okay. En el caso que todas fueran afirmativas, decimos sure. Decimos yes, of course. Yes, I could. Estas son como estas que están abajo. Yeah, sure. Ese ya yeah es como más informal, ¿verdad? Certainly. Esta es muy educada. All right. Eh, su jefa, su jefe llega y le dice, Beatriz, could you give me the report right now? Y usted dice, certainly. All right. That's very, very polite. Or you say, yes, of course. O le puede decir, yes, right away. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Or yes. Is certainly. Certainly is como como hmm. how do you translate certainly in Spanish? Uh, it's like, like, like por supuesto. An affirmation. Like an affirmation. Yeah. Ciertamente. Ajá, es que, ajá, ciertamente es if, you, if, you, if we translate it like that, Edwin, but it's like, por supuesto, all right? O es como aquí está, tenga, pero es una forma muy, muy educada de decirle, tenga. <laughs> All right, o aquí tiene el reporte, all right, certainly, okay? Definitivamente podría ser, como like one of the usages, okay? Very good, okay? So these are like, sure, yes, of course, yes, go ahead, or yeah, sure, or solo, certainly, or yes, of course, okay? Okay. 
Um, otra forma de, 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 de decir que sí, usted le dice, yeah, that's okay. All right. I'll be, I would be glad to. Este es como, me, me gustaría hacerlo, ya. Yeah? Would you prefer for the presentation, please? Who's talking to me, Elmer? Yeah. What do you need, Elmer? Podría, podría retroceder la presentación. Excellent, thanks. You're welcome. Yes, all right. Very good. Let me know, Elmer, so I can, like, finish presenting it. All right, guys. So, finish, Elmer? Finish, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Okay, guys, so... Now, now that we know how to answer, all right, so no solo nos vamos a limitar al yes, 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 all right? Now we're going to do the exercise I was showing you earlier. So here, what are you going to do? Todas van a empezar con could, all right? Aquí, por ejemplo, aquí les están dando, creo que hay un micrófono abierto. No sé si me ayudan con ese. Okay, a ver. I'm gonna... here. okay, I'm gonna turn it off because it's like noisy here. Okay, so here it says, um, number one, it says, I'm going to Starbucks, all right? Esta es la situación. Llega alguien y le dice, I'm going to Starbucks. Y usted le dice, oh, could you please get me a cup of coffee? All right, that is the question. De acuerdo a la situación que está aquí arriba. Por ejemplo, I'm going to the library. Acuérdese que library es biblioteca, no es librería. ¿Qué le podría pedir usted o requerir a esa persona? Could you? No sé qué más le puede pedir. I'm going to our English class. Piensen qué le podría requerir o pedir a esa persona. I'm going to the kitchen. ¿Ok? Tenemos eh, las otras aquí, solo se las voy a enseñar. So we have the situation is here, okay? And then based on the situation, you make a question for request. Could you? All right? Do you guys understand? Yes? Hello? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Why are you guys so quiet? Yes, yes. Sleep. Oh my goodness. Don't sleep, guys. Come on. <laughs> okay. Please take a picture of this. Finished? Picture. Picture, yes. Could you take a picture? Yes. Excellent. May yeah. I take a picture? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Certainly. All right. And picture number two. Picture, okay. I'm sorry. I have a bad connection. <laughs> That's okay. Picture number one. All right, and then picture number two, okay? Finish, guys, the pictures, yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent, okay, so let's go back to the group, lea la situación, y basada en esa situación que está ahí, juntos con su compañero o compañera, make a question, could you? Relacionada a la situación, ¿verdad? No le va a salir, si va a la biblioteca, no le va a pedir pizza. All right. Well, we would be a very good idea, actually, Galileo. But... <laughs> or pupusas. Or pupusas, all right. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, let's go. Elmer, ¿con quién estaba, Elmer? Con Galileo, teacher. Ah, ok. Carlitos. Carlos Alfredo, who were you working with? Uh, when you send uh, the break ups, uh, I lose the connection with internet. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Hold on. Ah, okay, I'm gonna send you with the nota, okay? Hi, um, Gonzalo. Hi, Gonzalo. Ando perdido? Oh, no, no sé. No, ahorita lo mando a un grupo, no se preocupe. Okay. Elmer, ya lo Elmer. No, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Will you help me, teacher? What happened, Elmer? No le salió la invitación, Elmer. No. A ver, lo mando o lo mando a otro grupo a ver cómo le va ahí. Mire ahora. ¿Qué le pasó, Elmer? El mercito, ¿qué le pasó? Okay. Okay. Lo vuelvo a mandar a otro grupo, Elmer. It's the same teacher, please. Yes, okay. There, Elmer.
Ah, sí. Más fácil. Please, pero ¿cómo sería? Prepare the sandwich. No. Could you prepare me? Uh -huh. Ah, very good. Carla and Edwin, very good. Could you prepare a sandwich for me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Please, I'm hungry. <laughs> I eat the pupusa. <laughs> yeah, pupusa, sandwich, whatever. Everything is delicious. I'm sorry. <laughs> Prepare, prepare, ¿verdad? Could you prepare the sandwich? Prepare. No, no llevaría prepare me. Could you prepare the sandwich for me? Ah, okay. Okay. I am going to London. The shopping. Uh, could you please the shopping and the shoes? Por decirle que si me puedes comprar unos zapatos, porque va a ir a, si podría ir a, a Londres. ¿Cuál sería el verbo comprar, Carla? Could you y el verbo. <laughs> no sé, shopping. No. No, el verbo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Edwin le va a ayudar, ya va a ver, yo sé que sabe el verbo comprar, Edwin. <ríe> buy, buy, be buy. Would you please buy? Yes, very good. Buy the shoes. ¿Está de acuerdo, compañero? Yeah. Ya. Would you go to the kitchen? Would you go to the kitchen? To get what? To get a, a hamburger. All right, uh-huh. That's for number four. Yeah. All right, yeah, because I say to you, I'm going to the kitchen. Entonces, ¿qué me puede pedir usted de la kitchen? Will you please give me a... Um, a glass of water? Sure, yeah, of course. Uh huh. Very good. Todas serían siempre all the all the sentences using uh, could you? Yes, of course. Uh huh. Yes, all the sentences, Carlos. Could you? Could you? Could you? Relacionado a lo que le están diciendo, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. I'm going to the London. I... London. I'm going to London. Ah, ok. Uh, could you... Could you get me a souvenir, please? Yes, uh, yes, go hairs. Yes, go hairs. Go ahead. Yes, Galileo. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, yes. Go ahead. Jose Eduardo. Okay, number six. Sorry, Jose Eduardo está escribiendo las respuestas, Jose Eduardo. O cómo formularía la pregunta? Could you? Yes? Ah, ese, yo se las estoy haciendo a Galileo, teacher. Ah, pero la idea y también Galileo es que... Galileo me la... está respondiendo y yo le estoy dando la respuesta de una sola... 
Ah, ok. All right. Solo asegúrese de saber cómo se escribe lo que, están, lo que está haciendo. Oye. Okay. Yes. All right. Y Elmer, Elmer is not with you guys. His, his Wi-Fi is not good. Yeah, I know, I know. We hear, we hear him like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a, a little bit slower. Okay, that's okay. Okay, Jose Eduardo, number six. Uh, number six. Uh, I I go I am going to the the vegetal vegetable vegetable market market así como se lee sorry no, no problem oh, any okay. problem any problem I go to yeah. the bed Beige. Vegetable. My, my Porque era beige. 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 Vegetable. Beige. Market. I, I, I don't have didactic, but I try. No, <laughs> you do great. You do great, Galileo. You're super. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna hire you. Ay, el mercito, that's a lot, very loud. I'm gonna hire you as my assistant, Galileo. <laughs> It's a pleasure, it's an honor. <laughs> okay, could you, teacher? Yes. I can see the answer. Get me a, is a frequency. The uh, get, uh, for example, could you please get me a book? Uh -huh. uh, it's a frequently. Uh, with this uh, answer, with this, Why? with these expressions. Why? O sea, decir, decir, uh, uh, please get me a, for example, could you please get me a book? Could you please, could you please get me a coffee, for example? Uh -huh. uh, the question is, get me is uh, frequently in the answer, or I'm sorry, frequently in the question. But it's not, it's not a frequency, Galileo. No, no, no. Me refiero a que uh, la, la forma quizá más común de decir tráeme tal cosa y que me a lo que sea. Ah, claro. Ya, 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 Ajá, es que, Porque por ejemplo, estamos me... entre, por ejemplo, amigos, usted le digo yo, get me a, get me some shoes. All right. Ajá. Si va a viajar, le digo, hey, get me a pair of shoes. All right. But that's like between friends, among friends. Pero sí es. Con... Ajá, por ejemplo, en las cinco, uh, please get me a souvenir. Ajá. En las seis, please get me some carrots. Sure. Uh, yeah. En las siete, please get me a hamburger, pigs, o lo que sea. Yeah. Entonces, get Get a, se vuelve como, get me a, se vuelve como la respuesta más común, pienso sí, yo, no sé, claro. al menos en este ejercicio. Eh. O sea, are there any problem with the, the, repetir lo mismo? Get me no. and the answer, the question. No, it's okay, Galileo, but like right now, just, especially for Jose Eduardo, I would like him to use could you. Okay. All right. El mercito el que Sí, el el es el party. El Sorry, dije, because I need to start now. That's okay, is it, Elmer. Is, is dance, is, I know, is, he's dancing. El into, the, into the drop to listen to music. Ah, no. okay. Elmer. <laughs> Okay, uh, number six, Eduardo. Could you could you please get me some carrots? Eduardo, please. the lunar, no? Okay. All right, Alex Hi, and teacher. Judith. Hello, are you finished? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. All right, let's see. What do you have for number one? Well, number two. 
Number Would you two. please? What was the situation, um, Judith? Oh. She's going to the library. I'm going to the library. Uh -huh. So what is the question? Could you please get me a book? Excellent. Of yes. History. A story. Story. A story All book. right. A story book. Yes, of course. Very good. Next. Okay. All right, Next. Alex. What about number three? I am. I am going to our English class. Uh huh. Could you please wait for me? Oh, very good. Yes. Okay. Nice. And number. Let's just do number four. Judith. Yes, I'm going to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Could you please cook French fries? Oh my goodness! Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are making me hungry. Ok, vamos a regresar. Creo que la mayoría está terminando para poder compartir eh, the sentences, all right, or the questions. Very good, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, guys, did you finish? Luis Alfonso, did you finish? Yes, I finished. Excellent. Luis Alfonso, I can't hear you. Your mic is off. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> All right. A ver, eh, vamos a revisar las preguntas. Espero que hayan podido terminar y luego tomamos asistencia. Olguita, hoy le toca a usted sus 10 minutos de fama. <laughs> All right. Yay, very good. Ok, y mañana le toca a William. Yay, William. All right. Oh, teacher. I, I, I know. Pero mañana, hoy no, mañana. Don't worry about it. Programes esos 10 minutitos. A ver. Okay. Let's see, guys. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's see. So we have here. Oops. Number two. It says, I'm going to the library. Uh huh. Luis Alfonso, tell me the question. No, I'm Compartir la pantalla. Ah, Luis. Me quedé mudo, ¿sabes? No le escucho, Luis. Lo que pasa es que hay un micrófono abierto y se oye más interferencia. Ajá, Luis. Me quedé mudo. Ah, ok. Me quedé mudo. Hola, no, yo le escucho. No, habla, habla. Es un milagro. Ah, no le No, dice, yo quiero contestar la número sí, 8. No. A ver, ok, a ver, Luisito, solo voy a apagar los micrófonos porque hay dos micrófonos abiertos y me cuesta escucharle a los demás. A ver, el, al que le vaya preguntando lo puede encender, no hay problema. A ver. Ah, uh, ok, William. William, what about number two? I'm going to the library. What request? Would you please? Buy me a pencil. Ah, ok. A ver, acuérdense que library no es librería, es biblioteca. Oh, ok. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. No, that's ok. Yes. Would you, would you, es, go, could, would you please give me, no, hit, give me geometry book. Yes, very good, Luis. Uh, Luis Eduardo. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Let's see. Um, Blanca, what about number three? I'm going to our English class, Blanca. Blanca. Where's Blanca? Okay. Solo puse, could you please pay attention? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Could you please pay attention? Could All you right? please, could you please excuse me with the teacher ah. and classmates, please? All right. That's a, yeah, teacher, that's, that's me, that's number three. Nice okay, tell me. You're going to the library. So what's the question? <laughs> could you please get me the homework? Oh my goodness, no, <laughs> I don't think so. All right, very good. Um, Gonzalo, can you do number four? I'm going to the kitchen. Um, 
Would you please bring me the glass of water? A glass of water, very good, of course, very nice. Carlita, I'm going to London, Carla. Um, could you could you please buy the shoes? Okay, could you clip? Could you please buy a pair of shoes? Very good. Carlos uh, Antonio, I'm going to the vegetable market. Teacher, quería también number five. Number five. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to London, yes. Could, could you please bring me a picture of the Big Bang? Oh my, wow, Carlos Antonio. <laughs> Excellent sentence. Very good, yeah. Oh, no, porque él quería compartirla. Very nice. <laughs> Excellent, Carlos. All right. Um, number six. Escojamos a otro compañero o compañera. A ver, um, Olga, I'm going to the vegetable market. Oh, would you please buy the carrots? Okay, perfect. Very good. Judith, I'm going to McDonald's. Could you please buy me a Big Mac? <laughs> could you be could you please buy a big mac for me very good bea i'm going to the post office and i'm going to the post office wait 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 yes wait, wait. okay could you please ask for my letter oh very nice yes nice luis alfonso cuál era la que quería hacer la número ocho i can't hear you luis la a quería él Ah, Luis Alfonso, your mic. Turn your mic on. What happened, Luis Alfonso? All right, that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's go on here. I have a Okay, so Luis. Uh, I, I, I go to the post office. Uh huh. Uh, I think, could you please me, could you please me send a letter to my wife? <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, of course, Luis, very good. <laughs> okay, I understand. Dinora, I'm going to a pet shop. Will you buy a, a, a dog? dog for me? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. All right, that's okay. <laughs> very good. And Edwin, I'm going home. Would you take my bike? Oh, very good. Thank you. Yes, yeah, that's a very good one. Very nice sentence. All right, guys, I'm going to take the la the attendance for the night. And uh, Olguita se me queda un ratito. A ver, Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Thank you. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Carlos Alfredo Núñez. Present. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández, thank you. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present, teacher. Edwin Valmore Flores Gómez. Present. Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. Thank you. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez. Gonzalo Valle Valle. I'm here. Thank you. Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. Present teacher. Jose Galileo Barrera Hernandez. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso Martinez Perez. Sí, present teacher. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Norma Lizer Quintana Mancía. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. William Mauricio González García. William. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. New teacher, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, that's okay, thank you. Ada Karina Cruz García. And Ana Karin Solis López. Present teacher. All right, good guys. Night, teacher. Yes, good night. Bye, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Night, Please teacher. continue with your homework. Good bye, bye. Night, good night. Bye, bye teacher. Bye, night. bye. Bye, Carlita. Bye, bye night, Good night. Bye, Blanca. Good Bye. night, Eduardo. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye, Beatriz. Bye, William. Bye, Edwin. Bye, teacher.
Good night. Olga, hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you, Olga? Fine, teacher. Fine. Tired, Olga? Uh, yes. Yes. I'm I know. Tired. Yes. Olga, where do you work? I work the Alcaldía de Mexicanos. Oh, interesting. Oh, very good. Okay. It's the moment in the transition. I know. Is it difficult? So, so. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy, I imagine. The, uh -huh. the, 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 the transition is a little bit crazy, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> Okay, yeah, I understand. Oh, very good. All right, Bye. Olga. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Many things to say. Uh, de hecho, yo anduve por mexicanos, le cuento. Ah. Uh, All right, yeah, because I had the vaccine of the, of the, la inyección del COVID. Ah, uh, the COVID. Mm -hmm. So I had to go all the way to Mexican. <laughs> uh, all right very good i don't i don't i don't need it don't i don't say no me le puesto. i i haven't um I haven't. I haven't gotten it yet okay very good all right okay olga so algo that you need help with in english lo que hemos estado viendo or something that you need me to help you with ah uh, bueno uh i have a confusion for um uh, from the the present simple okay uh, but, um, the s in the pair mm -hmm. but i don't mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh use the two okay the two. Uh, i did i have a confusion okay but All right. uh, and in the 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 next uh or and after class, yes. After class, yes, yes, you, yes. You, 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 uh, how do you say? Ah, it's a mejor idea. Es de explico. Yeah, explain, explain. Yes. Es una buena idea para. No worry, Olga. No, no te preocupes. I have a TD. More information. I know in your my, head. My, uh, and, eh, logré un poquito. Okay. Este, más o menos. Este, ubicarme. Un poquito. Okay. A ver, yeah. Olga. Eh, sí, no. Eh, al principio cuesta un poquito porque obviamente las reglas son nuevas, ¿verdad? Poco a poco uno lo va asimilando mejor. Y obviamente entre más lo practique, más le o menos le va a costar y mejor lo vamos a entender. ¿Verdad? Usted solo tiene que recordarse, Olga, que el cambio solo se da en afirmativo. All right? En presente simple, uh -huh. afirmativo. No en negativo y no en pregunta. ¿Verdad? Y el cambio solo se da en afirmativo y solo para tres personas. Para él, para ella y para eso. ¿Verdad? Los demás todos quedan uh -huh. igual. Cuando yo digo I, you, we, they, Todos ellos, el verbo, por ejemplo, el verbo cocinar, cook, ¿verdad? Usted dice, I cook, you cook, we cook, they cook. No cambia el verbo, cook es igual para todos. Cuando usted toma el pronombre o el sujeto, he, she, or it, entonces usted le va a poner ese al verbo solo en afirmativo. Entonces vamos a decir, she, o María, o my mom, como sea, all right, she cooks. Con ese, uh -huh. alright? O Pedro, he, Pedro, cooks. O digo, he cooks. O digo, mi papá, mi jefe, mi hermano, mi esposo, mi novio, quien sea. Siempre que sea él, va a ser ese en ese verbo. Ahora, a veces lo que nos confunde un poquito es que dentro de ese cambio de la S, eh, existe también la ES y la IES. Pero eso sí. Uh -huh. Ellos tres en he, she, it, y es por cómo se escribe el verbo, ¿verdad? No es por más nada, sino que por cómo el verbo ese se escribe, ¿all right? Entonces decimos, por ejemplo, watch, de observar, yo digo, my father watches, ¿all right? Le agrego es uh -huh. al verbo, pero solo a él, ella o esto. Entonces, dentro de ese cambio, uh -huh. Olga, 
están esas tres formas de ponerle S. Sí, porque ya no digo she is wash. No, 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 no. Acuérdese que el verbo be, exacto, el verbo be no se lleva bien con los verbos de acción. ¿Verdad? El verbo be es como un estado, es una condición. Yo le digo yo soy Jessica. No hay ninguna acción pasando cuando le digo yo soy Jessica. ¿Verdad? O yo le digo yo estoy feliz, por ejemplo. Estoy feliz y estoy sonriendo. Pero en el yo estoy feliz no es que, no es que lo diga y lo estoy sonriendo. ¿Verdad? Mientras que yo digo yo corro, yo como, yo pienso, yo escribo. Ahí hay una acción. Entonces el verbo be no se lleva bien con ningún otro verbo de acción. Entonces, yo no puedo decir, por ejemplo, she is dance, porque dance es un verbo de acción, e is no lo es, entonces no los puedo combinar. Entonces, yo digo, she dances salsa. Dance. Dances, ella baila salsa, ¿verdad? All right, entonces, una cosa es el verbo be, que es, es confirmación de una Exactamente, sí. Okay. Entonces, y ese cambio de la S solo va a pasar para ellos tres. En el negativo, eh, Olga, uh -huh. tenemos el don't para I, you, we, they. Es uh -huh. un mismo auxiliar para ellos cuatro. Y doesn't es el auxiliar para he, she, it. Para decir, no, él no come arroz. He doesn't eat rice. El verbo ya no lleva cambio porque llevo el das, el doesn't, ¿verdad? Porque llevo el doesn't, entonces en el verbo ya no pasa nada, ¿ok? Regresa a su forma original, ¿verdad? Y lo mismo ocurre, Olga, cuando tenemos la pregunta. Yo digo, does he eat rice? Ya no digo eats porque ya le puse el das, ¿verdad? Entonces, exacto, entonces... Ya no lo ocupo, entonces por eso le, de, le comentaba yo, le recordaba que ese cambio de la S solo va a pasar en afirmativo, en nada, en ninguna otra forma más, solo en afirmativo. All right. Ok. Very good, Olguita. La dejo descansar, vaya a descansar, se lo merece. All right. Nos vemos mañana, ya casi vamos terminando el módulo, ¿verdad? La Vamos a poder terminar mañana por mi problema de internet que tuvimos el lunes, sí, no pero el martes sería el último día. All right, Olguita, cuídese mucho, Thanks. la veo mañana. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night.